So look, let me tell you. So look. So we was talking about uh, like having this little middle situation. Like, oh yeah, um, well, I was saying, oh yeah, we gonna work this little thing out for the kid. Like, you know, like okay, like do things together, get the house together, but like more in my control and all this other shit. But I knew it was a catch. He wanted my checks, so I'm looking at him like, yo, you don't got what I left you with. You want the new money? That is crazy. So I'm like, yeah, he's he's manipulative. He's lying. He's he's not making sense at all. So I'm like, okay, this shit is weird. Like beyond weird. Like so weird. So when I'm in Atlanta and he trying, we fly back to LA together at 5 a.m. I said, fuck that flight. I checked myself in at a whole different hotel, a whole different room. Went to sleep. Like I said, Lord, I'm not finna stress. I'm finna just go to sleep. I woke up. When I woke up, booked my flight. When I booked my flight and went to L.A., when I went went to, like, I'm not going with you. Like, I'm not with you. Like, first, I'm not switching my checks back over. Like, why is you even, you my baby father, yo. And then it's, it's crazy because we made money together and you acting like I took any of that money with me when I left. And then he thinking, like, it was a couple, it was a, nigga, it was no couple hundred thousand. That's for sure. It was way more than that. So I'm just looking at this nigga like, so why do you want my new money for you to help me? He's just trying to manipulate me and, and bring me, like, to control me, like, again. So I'm like, okay, cool. He's trying to do that pimp daddy shit. Not with it. Boom. So uh, that same day, I'm getting on my flight. My little brother, he know the little spot, little baby restaurant or whatever. So um, when we pulled up, I stayed in the car. Well, when I got out, it was kind of hot. But I try to quickly get back in the car, so I let my little brother handle everything, like the transactions, picking out the food. So I got back in the car, like, no, nah, that shit is doing too much. So then the person that was in there selling the food wanted a promo video. I'm like, bro, I'm not getting on no car doing no promo video, but like, if you, yeah, just whip out your camera if you're ready, we'll wham. So I did a little video, a little inner. He, he texted my phone about reviewing that restaurant. And then made it a real big thing. So that was the real reason why you're, like, not trying to see me. Then when he found out I was in Baltimore, he trying to connect the dots. When and originally I was really invited from Gloss. I don't know who else was going to be there. So he made it about another nigga. So, again, so it was just weird as shit. Like, yo, I'm about to have this kid. For some odd reason, while we beefing, we're two hours away from each other. It shouldn't stop you. Nothing should stop you from seeing your kid. That's it. If you really care about having kids and shit or whatever, and this is your baby, I would think, like, it don't matter what we're going through, you're going to show up. Fuck. You never know. I would have put you. He would have been a fucking Jonathan Jr. Jonathan wasn't there. Fuck, he's Big Rock. Krishan Jr. now. Like, you weird. Like, what are you doing? Like. Like, I'm not no weird bitch, but I'm not finna let you control my checks no more. I'm not finna let you just not. I'm not finna just let you do what you used to do to me. So, he get my love talking like, oh, yeah, she planned it out. She No, I'm just really good out in Baltimore. Like, I don't, I live with my godparents, and they ain't regular people. They millionaires. They, they have a whole lawyer firm. Like, niggas is good. Like. I always stayed in school, made sure I surrounded myself with great people, coaches, and support when I was homeless because my mother's on drugs. You get what I'm saying? So Baltimore already had it figured out and already had my support system figured out before I even left Baltimore to go to Cali to follow my dreams, go to school, and you know how that go. So by the grace of God, I end up having my kid where I had him at. But while I'm talking to my baby father, he mad about a little baby. Talking about, you trying to get another nigga attention. I said, bro, you with a whole nother bitch. Why do you care that? I don't even, I don't even, me and baby don't even, the last time, the last time I ever received a message from baby was when he was like, why did, why fool acting like that? You know, you little sis. Cause I didn't come off like I wanted to fuck bro. That nigga was really just like, Cool as shit when I met him. Um, he wanted to, like, tap in. Like, all right, you know, lock in with me or whatever. I never got to it because Blue, jealous, insecure. 
So I respected that. So he screenshotted, exposed what Baby said, try to go viral off of it. Like, why would you screenshot? Why would you? Why would you take the messages? Why would you take the messages and then try to explain like, oh that he's calling, he calling uh, Kashawn like, Lil sis, nigga, you ain't no son. Of, like he tried to go viral off the situation. So respectfully, I never reached back out. I never exp- like me and baby just never text like, and we wasn't texting like that, yo. Like, oh my god, it's just annoying and shit. Like, I'm in the industry. I'm in the limelight. There's niggas. Saying how I got potential to be a star and do this and do that. Yeah, when they see me in real life, they really show love. Like, So I'm like, okay, you just made this whole situation about another nigga. But that's just your way just manipulating me and making me feel like, yeah, you just want to be out outside. Bet, stay outside. Bitch, don't call my phone. You acting like that bitter baby mama shit. That's what bitches do. Females do that. They keep... There's their kids away from their their baby daddy because of certain reasons because they not getting along. Nigga, I called this nigga, text this nigga, and then I got receipts. We texting about little baby just now because I'm like, on some real shit, what really stops you from coming? He like, you, you, you. You was thirsty the other day when you left me. How the fuck I bring you to Atlanta and you was thirsty for another nigga? What? I... I left you in a room after you left me in a room. You try to say you was ready to go do this shit, and then you hate the image of showing up with Krishan because Krishan is, he like, it's not your show. You can't make everything about you. I said, bro, we the gather. What are you talking about? So basically, he basically was saying, like, when we got to that little Smashing Pass video, it was going to be all about Krishan rocking her belly. Why do you care? It's your fucking belly. It's your baby inside me. Like, what are you talking about? So, this hat covering his face. He good. My baby good. I'm waiting for my food, and I'm trying to get this story out because I don't like this narrative he trying to run with for some clout. Then he trying, like, okay, cool. Put on a bitch that he should have been put on. Stop trying to make it seem like and force something that you know that's not true. She's just scared. She's... She don't got to mind her own. Me, I got to mind my own, and I got a big heart, so I allow motherfuckers to manipulate me. Not for long, though. I let motherfuckers walk over me, but not for long, though. I let niggas drag on me, but not for long, though. <laughs> you get me? That bitch was... I don't know. She just can't think for herself, and that's her. Like, So don't try to mix me up with your bullshit because you like, okay, I can make any star. Blue, nobody said you didn't have nothing to do with this come up, okay? But whatever's inside you, like, if you want to go, like, if I have this ambition to go here and go there and make it here and make it there, regardless, the Lord was going to use whoever. So he took that as I'm taking I'm taking his uh, credit. Hey, baby, I'm sorry. Your, your, your baby father is just, your fucking father is, my fucking baby father got me messed up. Then it's crazy because I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna hold you, but Mr. Junior need his father. But then, like, I be watching shit. I don't think he needs you for real, y'all. Your kids is, they, they don't know, your kids do not know the Lord first. Let's, let's start there. Your kids don't know the Lord. They know how to um post up with their dick in the camera, though, and put their tongues out. And then you like to, like, Play with your son for clout. Don't ever ask my son, is he gay? And then that bitch dumb. Like, she's just dumb. She cool for you for clout and money, but allowing allowing you to disrespect her kids in front of her. She weird. Why? Because I'm going to go to jail for mine. You hear me? Let you play it about Junior, nigga. I'm going to jail for mine. I don't care for no clout, no money. What the fuck are you talking about? You have no, you have no say so. Don't ever, bro, bro. Nobody taking my kid from, bro. Nobody taking my baby from me, yo. Nobody taking my baby from me, yo. You know how much shit I took when I was pregnant with him? Nobody taking my baby, yo. So... Go in over there and take that shit. You hear me? Like, like,
Like, no. We fall short because you don't control my funds no more. I I left what you took straight up. You acting like I can't get that shit back. I can get all that shit back if I wanted to. I don't want that shit. I want new money, bro. I don't want that 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 trauma money that I went through trauma making that shit. I wasn't happy making all that money.